Yeah. I know my daughter's hair. I know how to do it. So if they get in the pinch, they got party to go to. I got a daughter in chilling. I got a daughter in dance. Um, or just whatever happens uh, besides styling it. And they need, they know they can come to daddy because daddy And that is amazing. It. On top of, you know, doing your daughter's hair. They're getting major quality time with dad. Yeah. Not just you picking them up and you taking them to the park <laughs> or you taking them to the movies. This is quality time and it's going to definitely... <laughs> you. Okay, you're setting the bar high for any man in the future, well, which is great though because the bar needs to be set high. I'm laughing because my daughters don't like me to do that. <laughs> and that's crazy. But my they'll appreciate when they get older, trust me, when they can tell friends, my father, believe it or not, my father took the time to do my hair. Their friends are not going to be able to say that unless they watch this video, you know. <laughs> and then the man's are like, okay, well, he did it. He's not gay. You yeah. know, he loves his children, you know, for whatever reason, whether it was money or maybe you took them somewhere they didn't do it right. Or, and then you don't want your daughter's hair damaged because their hair is, is, is beautiful hair. Right. You know, so that's, that's just, I'm still in awe. I, I laugh because <laughs> my daughters hate for me to do their hair. And I'm going to tell you why they hate for me to do their hair. Because I'm a man. All right. I got man hands. <laughs> And when I got to get through the hair. So you're very heavy handed. I, I got to get through the hair. I got to get through the hair. Now, it, when they were younger, it wasn't as bad. Um, but now that they've gotten older, their hair's gotten longer, especially my oldest daughter, it's gotten thicker. Um, and they're very active. So I started putting the responsibility of their hair care on them um, a little bit more. So by the time I get them, if they haven't done, because I tell my daughter before we had service done, I tell my daughter, you got to take your hair out. Right. You got to wash it yourself. You got to brush it, then take it to mommy. And this is and this is the... Oldest daughter, Caitlin. Okay. And, the youngest and how old is she? She is 11. And how old is your youngest daughter? She's 8. Okay. So, um, I, for both of them. Uh, especially okay, my I'm, I'm going to cut you off for a second. Someone's going to ask. Because I know y'all, YouTube, y'all be asking some questions, so I'm going to try to answer it before you even ask. What is her mother doing? What is what is their mom doing, and does their mom do their hair? Because somebody's going to ask that. Yes, she does do their hair. Um, she actually does it more frequently than I do. The, the, the difference between the two of us is she's got two other children. One is my son, and then she has another child. Well, he's out of high school now, so he's not in the house. But, so we've got, over this time frame, we've got four kids, all in activities. She works full time. She's a boss at her job, number one. So she's okay, got yeah. responsibilities. Yeah. Um, and then, I'm still in school, working full time. So we've got help, but time... is not like it, a it, it, yeah. we, we, it, we're not talking about a soccer mom here. Right. We're talking right. about a mom with four kids. A career mother. You know what I'm right. saying? Four kids, all going in different areas. My son is in football. They're, they're in gymnastics. They're right. in dance, basketball. So she works all day. She picks the kids up because in my profession, typically the jobs, um, our, our work schedules are 12-hour shifts. So I'm either working or whatever. She come home 6 o'clock. Six o'clock, she get home. She got homework to check, food to cook, clothes to get ready for tomorrow. Um, you know, and then on top of that, trying to spend some quality time with them. On top right. of that, being a woman, ladies, my <laughs> girl, PSA to y'all. You can wear mom hat. You can wear boss hat. You can wear sister hat, daughter hat, best friend hat. Don't ever, ever, ever forget you are a woman. You gotta take time to just be you. So she's trying to juggle all of that. Okay. Fellas, you gotta help your baby mother. I don't care how crazy she was or is or whatever. You got with her. Y'all had babies. Right. You gotta take time Amen. to let Amen that to woman that. That's right. be a woman. While you out here, you know, hustling in the street, doing what you gotta do, you tr hustling like me, trying to build a better future. So you can give it back to her later. You got to give her time so she could be a woman. Let her bounce out on vacation. Let her go do her thing. But anyway, and that's another reason, part of the reason why I started learning how to do this. Okay. Just to try and, because I wasn't making no real money. And between child support and, and, and trying to get myself together, there wasn't much I could do. 
You know what I'm okay. saying? I, I, can't, I can't be like, you know, all right, I'm going to scoop the kids up for the week. You got the week off. I can't do that. Right. I, I, that's, that's a plan. Cause right. I feed them, blah, blah, blah. You right. Know? So this was just something that I was like, you know, wherever I could take the pressure off of her. Wow. So, um, and it needs to be a lot more men like you because a lot of times, you know, when you go through a divorce, it's either going to be bitter or it's going to be sweet. You know, and, and a lot of times, you know, even whether it's bitter or sweet, <clears throat> excuse me, you still have kids involved. You know what I mean? And it's so many men that even if they're not married to the woman, you know, when they stop dealing with the woman, they stop dealing with the child too. And yeah. it's not the child's fault. And it's, it's, that's a whole nother, look, that's, yeah, yeah. people, I, that's a whole nother video. Just, just <laughs> put it this way. I refuse to be, um. Debbie Dad? Not, not so much. I'm, I, I refuse to be a paycheck. Okay, gotcha. I, I, I gotcha. refuse to be. Gotcha. I refuse to be child support. And gotcha. I'm right. I'm involved. I'm involved as much as I can. I right. Mean, another PSA to ladies: If you got a dude that had had your his, your kid's father, and he's at least somewhat consistent, preferably completely consistent, but if he's somewhat consistent, if he at least pays his child support and and Picks up his kids for his visitation, and you know, express um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, exercises his right as right, a parent right. to do visitation. Right. Let that dude. Don't think you gotta do it all by yourself. We sitting here and half the time. There's stuff that don't get done, or stuff you take on for yourselves. That if you would just tell a man, hey, blah 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 blah, and just cut, I can't do it all. I bet you that man. I bet you money that man. Make it make it happen to take some of the pregnancy. May not be able to do fifty fifty. Right. Might be able to do ten ninety. Right. That ten percent makes a big difference. You know what I'm saying? That that's a breather for you. I'm just saying, do what you want. Um, but those are the types of things. Those are the types of reasons why I got involved. Okay. So again, and you keep talking about me and hot comment. Well, anyway, so I got the blow dryer, and Sean showed me how to blow dry the hair. Um, I remember my mom back in the day doing curlers, so yes, I can put my daughter's hair in curlers. Wow. Um, Sean, okay, which okay, <laughs> pause. Which rollers do you use? Um, I have the flexible bendy. I call you can bendy. do a flex. You know how to use a flexi rod? Yeah. Wow. I can do the flexible ones, and then I'm dating myself again. My mother used to use the foam ones. Yeah. So I know how to. I know well, how to the flexi use rods kind of put me in mind of, and I'm about to tell my age. Flexi rods kind of put me in mind of, remember the paper bag rollers? Yeah. I don't know if that's just an up north thing. I don't know if, if y'all did it down south or wherever else, you know, because this is, YouTube is worldwide. But you would actually cut, um, take a paper bag, cut it in strips, twist it, mm -hmm. and then wrap the hair around it how they have these flexi rods today. Mm -hmm. But it was like, it was free because back then they didn't have plastic bags. Yeah. They only had paper bags. But yep. go ahead. From associates and, yeah. <laughs> I know how to do that. Um... Wow. I got to get with you, though, on how to do them big rollers that go all the way and all that. I don't know how to style here. I know how to do a ponytail. I know how to braid. And I know how to separate. And I'm going to um, insert some of his pictures because I know y'all probably want to see. Because, you know, YouTube, let me see. So, I'm going to insert um, some of his pictures that he actually sent me while he was doing his youngest daughter. Said. So, he does have pictures. He can do a nice braid. So, you know, ponytail and the braid, I was like, yeah, I was amazed. So, he does do that. He sent me a video. If I can kind of get it to where you guys can see it clearly, I'll show you that video as well. And then I'll show you um, his older daughter, Caitlin, how her hair came out when I put a platinum smooth-out service in her hair. And, uh, so, I'll show you yeah. those pictures as well. So, you can see they have a lot of hair. Worth every penny, by the way. <laughs> Shameless plug. Platinum smooth-out. Thank you. every penny. Tell Thank me. you. And I had to... I had to Make some moves to get that loop. So, and basically, uh, I'm going to just explain really fast what a platinum smooth out is. It's a chemical free amino acid based treatment. It um, repairs the hair from the inside out. It makes the hair a lot more manageable because it does put protein and moisture back into the hair. Basically, because it's not a chemical, you can wear your hair natural or straight. So, if you have a child that had tangles, now when you have this service, their hair is not tangling anymore. Um, if you have a child that had really coarse hair, believe it or not, even though this doesn't have chemicals, it gives them what you guys like to call good hair. Yeah. So you'll see, you'll see, um, 
in the pictures. And if I, I took a video on my phone as well. So you'll see in the pictures and I took a video with her, with his daughter actually like just swinging her hair and running her hands through her hair. So I'll try to insert that into this video as well. Maybe while I'm talking and we're doing this interview, um, when I actually go back to edit, I may have it in a corner somewhere or I might do like a side by side because I, I'm getting better at that editing thing. So yeah, so you you, you guys get to see all of that. You too, your daughter too can have can look like she got Indian in her family. Right? <laughs> For real. It, it's the best. So anyway, you too, Google YouTube, um, ask questions. Um, so I learned how to blow dry. Then, like I said, I started with the flat iron. Okay. I whether the flat iron wasn't hot enough because it was you know wasn't industrial strength, um, or I just flat out don't have the technique. Right. Because uh, I don't know how to Yeah, because it. you're not licensed. So, I got... I, I could never get it straight. It, it stayed wavy. And by the way, YouTube will tell you, uh, you watch the videos, it'll show you the difference of, of, of when you actually straighten the hair versus press it hot and it's still wavy. It'll let you see the difference so you know if you got straight. Because it can look right. straight. The longer down further right. than it, well, then it, won't it be looks bone straight. straight. But at right. The, right. But at the root, It'll be all wavy and right. puffy and big. Right. You need to lay down. So, um, my hairdresser friends told me product, product, product is is, is the the cornerstone. Um, but then the I, I use the end styler. Um, so the videos on that got one of those. Did you so guys hear that? He uses an end styler. I do um, hair as a profession, and I don't have an installer. Yeah. I'm just saying. I don't like. You're not Walmart. Nah, 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 I'm more. I'm, I'm more hands on with it. You know, I, I can. <laughs> I can use both my hands to get it. I don't need the installer. I, I, but that's great. I got the installer, and the installer works. On my youngest daughter's hair did not work on my older daughter's hair. So the oldest have, daughter's hair, um, and you guys are going to see his youngest daughter has more of a silkier, right? Right. A, a silkier um texture. His oldest daughter is a thicker texture. Not coarse, but just a little thicker. So yeah. yeah. So it didn't work on my, on Caitlyn's hair, but it did work on Caitlyn's hair. So um, I just threw it back one day. I was in um, the little. I went in Sally's, and I, I this man, this gonna be politically incorrect, but you know what I'm saying. I was in a little Korean woman store, and I saw the hot combs. And I remember back in the day, moms used to straighten the hair right. with a hot comb. So I was like, now I'm going to tell you how much I didn't know. I thought the hot comb, actually the comb part. I was like, this looks like it makes sense. I just blow dry it straight and just comb it. It'll come out flat. Right. That's not how hot combs work. Um, For people that doesn't know what a hot comb is, because somebody you know. Right. Someone may not know. What a pressing comb is, and I'll go ahead and I'll, um, I'll either take a picture of one of my old school. It's probably in the attic, so let me back that up. <laughs> no. I'll go ahead and Google a picture of a hot comb, and I will I will insert it so you guys can see what it is. It's actually a metal comb that they have them electric now, mm -hmm. where you can plug them in the wall. But years ago, you had to stick them on a stove, yep. and they would get hot like that, which is why you know, hot comb. Yep. So it's okay, go comb. ahead. So I I remember the hot comb. I saw the hot combs. They had them electric. I got an electric one. I got one with a little dial on it, somewhere in the vicinity of forty, fifty dollars, something like that. So, I really didn't know how to use it uh, from my hairdresser friends. I knew that heat damage was a problem. Um, what I didn't want to do is send my daughters back to their mama with big patches of hair missing. Right. So, <laughs> I hit that YouTube again. Hit that Google again. Um, Google products found out that there's serums um, mm -hmm. for heat protection. Right. Um, I was using prior. The one I found that was my favorite prior to... Um, uh, the, the Platinum Smooth Out was, um, uh, I don't know if I can do this, but it was a Paul Mitchell. Yeah, you can shout out names. Yeah, yeah you can shout a, names it, out. It was, it was a Paul Mitchell. It, I don't know the name of it. It's a serum. It got a light green top, and it's an eight ounce bottle. Okay. Um, cost 12 something at Walmart. But you got to catch it when, if your Walmart has a, um, a hair salon in it. So gotcha. you can catch it. That's all Paul Mitchell products. That's the best that I found wow. for my daughter's hair. I was heavy handed with it because my daughter got thick hair. So I may have put too much in it. But the end result was my daughter's hair was always, when I, when I did high comb it, it laid down. She never really had no heat damage. And a adult, adult could attest to this. Um, 
I don't think I really. Yeah, did. when he brought his daughter in, besides having a little, because she brought it in last week. Um, besides having a little bit of split ends, and I'm definitely going to show you guys how her hair looked before I actually trimmed her hair. She had, she didn't have any heat damage whatsoever. Her hair was healthy. She didn't have any breakage. Now, ladies, this is a man doing his daughter's hair because I'm just going, I'm going to put it out there. Everybody knows that knows me that, that they know I'm real. I have women that do their child's hair and they put relaxers in it and whatever. And when their children come, by the time they decide that, you know, they find me, they find me or whatever. And by the time they by the time they get in my chair, they have heat damage, they have um, breakage, the hair has stopped growing, and it all comes from you know care. Because I tell any woman, when you have daughters, you know from the time when you give birth, that's going to be another expense that you For need sure. to add to your budget. I mean, I hate that. it is it is what it is. Yeah. I have boys, but when they were first born, they had long hair. Thank God I have nieces that love to braid because I can braid, but I don't like braiding. So I have nieces that love to braid. So they would braid my son's hair until it got to a point where I got tired of people saying, oh, your daughters are beautiful. <laughs> you know, so I, I, I cut their hair. But it comes it comes down to a parent. You can't put it on your child. If your child is eight, eight years old, nine years old, you can't put all of the, all of the um, responsibility, you know, on your child. You can't do that. You as a parent need to take effort into, you know, doing your child's hair, whether you braid it, whether you ponytail it, or whether you're like Jermaine and you do your research. Please, people, do your research. When I get into it, you notice how I'm talking different now. I'm even shaking as I'm talking because I just want you, I just want everybody to do better as far as their children. I hate to see little boy-headed little girls. I keep it real. This is my channel. You don't like what I'm saying. Stop the video. Don't watch it anymore. You understand what I'm saying? But there's no need for a little child that's five years old to be walking around bullheaded. Oh, yeah, and stop putting weeds in these little looks. Tell it. You know tell saying? it. I was just about to go there. Look, Please look, tell it. Look, I'm, I'm sick and tired, for real. Me, personally, and I know I'm a dude and blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm not trying to be arrogant, but just as a dude, I, it's hard enough looking at women and your hairline is back here. Thank you. It's hard enough. But when you look at a seven, eight-year-old girl and her hair is, her hairline is already by her temple because you keep putting them mini, what do you call them, micro braids? Micro braids. I mean, I've, I've even seen weave. Or they, or the, or the, or the child's hair is, is so soft uh, that they're putting, you know, heavy extensions on it. And then, you know, everybody knows of, of alopecia. Alopecia is when you have damaged that hair follicle to the point that you've either pulled it out, yeah. you've done something, you've either had glue on it, too much gel. Temporary alopecia, you can kind of get it back, but if you're constantly putting stuff heavy on your child's hair and your child's hair is being pulled from the, you guys are going to say root, I'm going to use the, the professional term, follicle. When you damage that hair follicle, ladies and gentlemen, if you permanently damage that hair follicle, guess what? Your child's hair is never, ever going to grow back. 